this was caught. This is a good one. Oh. 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 Ah, oh, okay. Got it. Yes. Right it with me. Ha ha. to go to a hike, possibly record a video, but I'm there, so we'll see.
Hey y'all, sorry. Wow, it's a lot of stuff behind me. So it is like five something. I'm gonna get there at 551. I didn't go to QT, so I didn't get my coffee. I got a sneakers bar and I'm now just heading to the mountain. I'll get there at 551. Hopefully I can leave there at 651. So then I'll be back home by 730. That way I can log in because I really want to start work before 8 o'clock just to get an early head start. That's what I always like to do. I'm most likely not going to vlog my drive there. It is a long drive. Safety comes before anything. But if anything, I will show you guys once I get there. I texted my sister just this morning. I mean, last night. I mean, this morning at 2 a.m. I'm like, hey, let's go to the mountain. And she responded back to me at 4 when she woke up when her alarm went off. And she was like, girl, I mean, she's like, she was like, it's cool because I normally wake up at 536, but she didn't think I was serious. So then after she sent the text, my alarm had just went off. I'm like, good morning. Let's get ready. Let's go. She was, and then she passed out after she had wrote the message to me. So she's just now writing to me. She's like, um, she's like, girl, you were serious. I just literally passed out and woke back up. But yeah, girl, I'm serious. Meet me at the mountain. We're going to hike. I'm gonna do this video. If it's too many people in my arena, <laughs> then I'll go ahead and vlog. But regardless, I have a whip and I'm an outside person. I'm getting outside before I start work. So this is things that I'll be able to do once I get my own car, like travel across the state. Oh God, it's so good. <sighs> okay. Okay, y'all, I'm here. take a lift because I don't want to get stranded over here but I'm here and my sister said she'll be here by 6 12 it's like what 607 608 now but in the strangest of places if you look at it right. Like, wow, they're not open until Wednesday. So now, tomorrow, I have to come here. They're just so cute. Like Are those, uh, what? Oh, uh, human bean coffee? Yeah, because look. You know? Oh my goodness. Like, just I'm gonna sit here, in the back. People just be coming here dressed classy and Oh, like, you know I'm I'm picking out my pretty like, my like, pretty well, outfit for this. I'm so like, um, 
Yeah, I'm wearing my little heels just for a cafe. <laughs> no joke. But yeah, here we are at Filiberto's. 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 Yes, y'all, I'm filming. Have to have um, skills in Microsoft Publisher and project planning. You do? Well, those are just like preferred skills. I mean, I'm trainable. I can learn. I can so learn. I can take notes and I can check them twice. As a matter of fact, Look, I do it three you, times. You'll be um, providing. Never ever. I don't know what the new iPhones, the front camera also blurs out the background. Mm -hmm. No, like. They do now. Only the the twelve doesn't do it, and no. I'm over here realizing that on the twelve when I record, I don't have to always be back because the front also. It is the back thing up for you. Okay, okay. Y'all, the audio is gonna be a little different because my headphones died, but I'm trying to figure out, should I go to Jack in a Box or should I go to Burger King? Because I just want a burger that is not from McDonald's. I've been having McDonald's way too long and I appreciate the fact that they're close and I think that's the only reason that I've been having them for too long is because they're very close to me. But I'm wondering, should I go to Jack in the Box or should I go to McDonald's? Thank you, God. But no, I meant, um, should I go to uh, Jack in the Box or should I go to Burger King? But whichever one I run into first, I think I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do Jack in the Box because originally I left the house to go to Jack in the Box and then once I saw how beautiful the day is, my mind want to wander off. And now I'm like, I can also do Burger King. But I think I'm just going to do Jack in the Box for now because I already looked up their menu. I already got the prices and I already know what I want to get. So I'm just going straight. As you can see, I'm going straight up until I can find a Jack in the Box. GPS because I got lost yesterday. Yeah, as soon as I put my GPS on, like it pops up. Um, yeah, right here. This is it, right? 
I just wasted my lunch on trying to get out of this little turn right here. So my best bet is to just go home. Why does my face look like that? Good morning, y'all. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I am on my way to a park somewhere closer to downtown Phoenix. So I could film um, episode two of the podcast. And the podcast could be found on Spotify. We're trying to get it on Apple. Uh, it'll be on iHeartRadio soon. But you can definitely uh, hear it on Spotify as well as well as on YouTube, and, um, I'm going to turn right, because GPS trying to get me to the freeway, and definitely submit, submit your feedback to the podcast, uh, submit any questions that, um, you guys want answered, and, submit any um, topics that you guys would like us to talk about and I am um, I'm really ex I'm really excited <laughs> I'm really excited I should have been left the house a little earlier because I really wanted to be there by the, by the time the sun rises but I might be there just a little bit after which is fine because the sun is still gonna be there but that's that's what I want to let you guys know. And not just that, I also put like the headphones uh, mic inside my shirt. And this is also for me to test out. This is also for me to test out and see if my mic is working like it's supposed to be working. But um, safety comes first. I will talk to you guys once I get to my destination. Bye, guys. Okay, so the car is off and the audio sounded bad the last two times. I'm hoping this time it sounds way better so that I could be out there with my headphones and stuff like that. So let's see. I was sitting right there first, and I was right there, and then I went back there, but uh, I think I just need to stay in the grass, because if I get on the concrete, I start to slip. That's crazy. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Bye, guys. Okay, I have to cut through that concrete. Ugh. I'm, okay. Slowly, 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 Got it. Guys, this cross from Walmart, they're not, they're not, um, hi. Like. Okay, so we finally got that done. 
um I did really great on the assessment test and I also did the credit application which is what took the longest like she could tell I was starting to get irritated that's something that I need to work on as a Christian but I got my background things submitted so if when my credit check comes back clear um then she'll go ahead and let me know when I can start for the job like I think this job will be very very perfect it's it's an overnight job like if I get the job it gives me from the time I get off I at least have like four to six hours before I have to do this job and then plus I get consistent days so it's like I get three days where I don't work from either job in both jobs um my first job I just literally do time and attendance I used to enter payroll for them and still not easy I mean still not hard sorry still not hard and then for this one is basically preparing document for the bank and I also don't have to be on the phone which is what usually gives me anxiety and I think I really really think I can do it so y'all pray for me that my background come I mean I don't have anything in my background if anything it might be the credit application because I do have a student loan I might have a discover a credit card somewhere that I have to pay off I think but whatever they need I will give it to them God please you brought me all the way to Tempe for this job, Lord God. I am willing to do whatever it takes. Oh no. Okay. This beautiful, beautiful Chrysler. Hello. Let me get off my phone. When I get to the African market, I will vlog. I'm gonna get the skirt and there's the, the all the all that stuff that I'm gonna get. Ooh. I already got my mesa. I have this. I have the monessas already. Okay. This would also be nice to have this. But I'm trying to see if I can find a smaller one because I don't think I need something this big. So let me see if I can ask. This is so pretty. Oh my god. I don't want to mess it up. But I want to get this one. Um, I don't know what that is, but that looks nice. so cool. Thank you so much. My name is Paul. What's your name? Yeah, so I'm leaving the African market and I got me an African skirt that I cannot wait to show you guys. I got a whole African skirt and I can't wait to show you guys because now this gives me something to wear to church on Sunday. And I was just so excited. She was so sweet. I got the fufu. I got the necessities to cook like the Bugatti. Only thing that's missing is just like the meat. But I got everything else to make my fufu at home. I just need the meat. But she really did hook me up. I think the skirt was like 60 or like 50 or some bucks. And she gave it to me for 30 or maybe like she's just a good sales lady and it was originally 30 and she just told me she gave it to me for 30 bucks. But regardless, she treated me like a queen. She was just very, very sweet. And I honestly like, 
I wish they had the meat, the type of goat meat I was looking for, but then like, it's okay at the end of the day. I can go to the African market tomorrow that's in Phoenix and get the goat meat I need. And then tomorrow for lunch, I can have me a whole African meal. Good morning guys, it's the Sabbath day. Uh, it's actually, yeah, it's Saturday. I'm heading to Ross to get me a new hat and then I'm gonna get me some gas and I'm gonna go ahead and head to the mountain to film my next podcast. I thought I should just like have a little chat with you guys really quickly. Um, just so you guys know, like majority of this vlog, oh, excuse me, majority of this vlog is going to consist of me um, basically um going it's gonna consist of me going hiking me going to the mountains um me finding like little cute areas to film my podcast and then like me trying to take myself out on a date like me just trying to uh enjoy my own company and be cool with it and then just me just trying to figure out a positive healthy routine for me and my lifestyle so um that's that's basically what this vlog is gonna kind of basically be about just me trying to figure out a healthy lifestyle for me um and then i feel bad i should have you know backed up oh yeah i get there but yeah it's um it's a pretty fun vlog to me um i don't mind change i definitely do enjoy change like I said in my last podcast, I mean, yeah, you're going to see that podcast Podcast that's coming up. Change is good. We live in a world that is constantly changing. And so uh, things are always going to change. And we just have to learn to adopt to change and things of that nature. But um, let me go into Ross and see if I can find me another hat. I've been wearing this for too long. And then afterwards, I'm going to probably get me some food real fast, get some gas, and head head my way out to the north sorry i don't know why i feel like my nose just bugging but um in park right here let me see The whole time I checked out at uh, Ross, I got me a candle and I got a hat. That's all I got from the store. And I made sure like they can see me the whole time. Like I don't, I feel like they be thinking I'm gonna steal, but I don't ever steal. And then when I don't steal, it seems like they get mad and they ain't got nothing on me. But like the whole time I checked out, um, the girl refused to look at me in the eye. Like she kept looking to her left. And I was just like, how are you ringing my stuff? And you're not even like, looking at it like bro is there a cute guy to the left am i taking your attention away but no like she literally refused to look at me in the eye and then i was just like thank you i hope you have a blessed day and that's when she looked over she was like ow oh. it's very weird but i didn't take it no offense to it because i walk around singing jesus anyways and it's hard to walk around angry if you keep jesus to your heart but yeah so i'm getting gas and then I think the next time I'm gonna open up my vlog is when I am at the park because I do have like a couple stops to make before I, I go to the mountain. I reached out to my sister just to see what she's doing today. She hasn't responded. She was, she's probably busy, so I'm just gonna go to the mountain. I'm trying to see if she's available for us to go to the movies tonight, but regardless, I'm gonna go to the movies tonight or tomorrow night, but I wanna do it tonight because if I don't do it tonight, who knows what's gonna happen tomorrow, you know? Um, 
but you know again that's just me being comfortable with my own company like i normally don't do anything because i'm waiting to do it with my sister and stuff like that but i know she living her life she got her boyfriend she living her life she doing what she gotta do and i can't hold her back so i'm just learning to just enjoy my own company do things my own and just um be happy with being alone so let's go guys so i am here at the park i need some chapsticks so and plus you can barely see me because the sun I just finished I just finished filming the podcast and um, I think I'm just gonna leave because um, I should have came a little earlier it's hot you know but we're here okay Here. Oh, okay. Napkin. I took it. You see that? You ran away with it. I'm to show you on the wind just blew everything away, but squirrels. Oh, you want some too? Here. Um, here. Yeah, look, I did not think this through. Me trying to be cute and match my outfit. Look what I wore to the mountain. Oh, not a very wise choice, I may say. What is that? Aren't they cute? Look at them. I already got my cat hair on it. That's why I wore this because they have my cat hair on it. But look, he already got to her. When I watched my last vlog, I realized that like I need to wear more lip gloss and look into the camera more. Y'all, I'm still here. I sat down and I started taking videos of the um, the the trees and the sky and uh, the grass. I could I should have been a scientist because I feel like I would have really enjoyed my work. But um, we're here now, right now, packing it up. And Should I do it later? I don't know. Do 
Decisions, decisions, man, decisions. Right. It be like that sometimes when they call you. Call me that. Oh, this hat is so cute. Right. Call me when you're not. Yeah, I got this little cute smiley hat from um from Ross. And then I got a candle because you know how much I love my candles. And I got a candle. <laughs> She's doing it again, Mom. <laughs> it's a huge candle and it was only $8.99 oh yeah mm -hmm. yeah but it went I'm gonna put some lemon, this is gonna be good. Yeah, you know, they need to cook cake with him or he was at the house. Wow. <laughs> He's disrespectful, man, nowadays. I have these potatoes on so it's. This is gonna be so nice. Let's grow up now. Can we just grow up? Grow up. I wonder what that is. What is that? Oh, that's the side of it. You work out at the gym, I'm gonna work out inside and it's gonna be lit. flower and nectar premium scented candle natural soy wax this is a big candle thank you jesus this is really pretty
Jesus, oh thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for being so great in your life. What do you think? This is it right here. Good morning, my friends. Good morning. Today is uh, Monday, May 19. Today is... Today is Monday, May um, May 13, and the time is 12, um, 12.09 p.m. So, y'all, I feel so bad because for the last two days, I've been waking up at um, 6 or 5. Usually, I get up at like 3.57, 3.50 by 4 o'clock, 4.30, I'm up, I'm ready to go, let's go, let's get this day over with. It is not going to leave me behind. But recently, I found myself just being lazy, 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 so I need to get back to that. Today, I feel like, I just feel bad, saved it. Today, I feel really, really bad, and so I thought, hey, you know, um, let me go to salad and go and probably get myself like a little salad or something. With that being said, tomorrow I'm going to go to the store or perhaps order from Costco and get me like um, three to two different types of fruits. So that way I am also like eating fruits throughout the day as well. But this is my first time going to Salad and Go and I'm going to get their Cobb salad. Their Cobb salad has like avocado and it looks like I can also put chicken in it. And so I think it's going to be a great old time. It's only like $7.00. 50 cents which is really really not too bad and it seems like the salads are really really big but you know we're just gonna go ahead and see it for ourselves uh it's less than like five minutes away so i'm beyond stoked to go and, and go there i am on like lunch so i do have an hour i was looking for a mountain to go to because I just felt like I needed to get out the house real quick and just soak in God's nature real quick and just because it's a beautiful, beautiful day outside and I just wasn't feeling too good. Like the sun is up, the birds are chirping. Why is my stomach hurting? Like, bro, what's going on? You see that that's the logo to sell it and go but look at the lines of salad and go and i'm barely like <sighs> okay i'm just gonna drive straight and hope that i can find something because yo salad and go must be that great huh i'll try again like on thursday morning but i'm just gonna like go to mcdonald's or something like go somewhere else because this is not this is not giving that is crazy. People love it that much. Look at the line, y'all. I went to Filiberto's instead.
we want to go through uh move quills we talked about this we want to go through a portfolio booklet this is going to be lit i'm gonna show you guys what's all in his um catalog so you know if you want to come if you want to reach out on facebook or call that number from last vlog and like get you a t-shirt that you can but look i'm gonna show you this it's a lot i'm sure it's only like a couple pages that's missing but it's basically wait it's full no nope, just a couple pages it's nice okay let's see This is really cute.
tired. I'm gonna get my my t-shirt heat pressed. Why are you ignoring me? I know you can hear me. Clouds. Clouds. You need to come inside, I'm sorry. You're literally almost there, like the steps are right there. Please, don't do it. You've been burned alone. Please come inside. I know it's tempting. You have to contain yourself. You can do it. Resist temptations, Klaus. Resist temptations. Thank you. Thank you. Ready? Thank you, Klaus.
I just read the first chapter of this book. The podcast is gonna be out, so make sure you tune into the podcast on Spotify. But um, I need to get my sleep schedule right. I really do. Um, I want to go ahead and read Psalms uh, 19 really quickly. Okay, Psalms 19. Ah, sorry, y'all. Psalms 19. Um, the perfect revelation of the Lord to the chief musician, a psalm of David. The heavens declare the glory of God in the firm firmament shows his handwork handiwork day unto day utter speech and night unto night reveals knowledge there is no speech no language whether voice is not heard their line has gone out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world in them he has set a tabernacle for the sun which is like a bridge groom coming out of his chamber <laughs> and rejoices like a strong man to run its race. Its rising is from one end of heaven and its circuit to the other end. And there is nothing hidden from its heart. There is nothing hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord, the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgment of the Lord, the judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yet than much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover by them your servant is warned. And in keeping them, there is great reward. Who can understand his arrows? Cleanse me from secret faults. Keep back your servants also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless and I shall be innocent of great transgression. Let the world of my mouth, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. Oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. <coughs> Thanks, Alexa. I am. That was so beautiful. I'm going to read verses 20. Psalms 20. The assurance of God's saving work. To the chief musician, a psalm of David. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the, Lord, may the name of the Lord of Jacob defend you. May he send you help from the sanctuary. 
and strengthen you out of Zion. May he remember you all your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifices. <laughs> May he grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all your purpose. We will rejoice in your salvation and in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Now I know that the Lord, now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They have bowed down and fallen, but we have risen up and stand upright. Save, O Lord, may the King answer us when we call. Psalms 21. This is the last one. Psalms 21. Joy in the salvation of the Lord. To the chief musician, a psalm of David. The king shall have joy in your strength, O Lord. And in your salvation, how greatly shall he rejoice. You have given him his heart's desire and have not withheld the request of his lips. For you meet him with the blessings of goodness. You set a crown of pure gold upon his head. He asked, from, he asked life from you, and you gave it to him. Length of days, forever and over, ever. His glory is great in your salvation. Honor and, ma and majesty you have placed upon him. For you have made him most blessed forever. You have made him exceedingly glad with your presence. For the king trusts in the Lord. And through the mercy of the Most High, he shall not be moved. Your hand will find all your enemies. Your hand will find all your enemies. Your right hand will find those who hate you. You shall make them as fury. You shall make them as fury. You shall make them as a fury oven in the time of young, in the time of your anger. The Lord shall swallow up. In his wrath, the fire shall devour them. Their offsprings you shall destroy from the earth their descendants from the from among the sons of men, for they intended evil against you. They devised a plot which they are not able to perform. Therefore you will make them turn their back. You will make ready your arrows on your string. Your string you will make ready your arrows on your string towards their faces. Be exalted, O Lord, in your own strength. We will sing and praise your power. Okay, I want to read this one too. I'm sorry, y'all. <clears throat> Maybe we can read all the way to Psalm 23. Let's see. Okay, Psalms, Psalms 22. Okay, Psalms 22. The suffering, praise, and posture of the Messiah. To the chief musician set to the deer of dawn a psalm of David. Okay. <laughs> my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me and from the words of my crooning? Oh my god, oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but you do not hear. And in the night season, and am not silent, but you are holy, enthroned in the praise of Israel. Our fathers trusted you, they trusted, and you delivered them. <clears throat> they cried to you and were delivered. They trusted in you and were not ashamed. But I am a worm, not a man, a reproach of men, and despised by the people. All those who see me ridicule me. They shoot up the lips, they shake the head, saying, He trusts. He trusted in the Lord. Let him rescue him. Let him deliver him, since he delights in him. But you are he who took me out of the womb. You made me trust while on my mother's breast. I will cast upon you from birth. From my mother's womb, you have been my God. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, for there is none to help. Many bulls have surrounded me. Strong bulls of Bashan have encircled me. They grape, they gap at me with their mouths like a raging and roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax, it has melted within me. My strength is dried up like a postured, like a postured, and my tongue clings to my jaw. 
You have brought me to the dust of the earth. For dogs have surrounded me. The congregation of the wicked have enclosed me. They pierce my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. They take, they look and stare at me. They divide my garments among them. For my clothing they cast lots. But you, O oh Lord, do not be far from me. O oh my strength, hasten to help me. Deliver me from the sword, my precious life, from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth and from the horses of the wild oxen. You have answered me. I will declare your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, glory him, glorify him. And fear him, all you offerings, offsprings. And fear him, all you offsprings of Israel, for he has not despised nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted, nor has he hidden his face from him, but when he cried to him, he heard. My praise shall be of you in the greatest in the great assembly. My praise shall be of you in the great assembly. I will pay my vows before those who hear him. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. Be satisfied. Sorry, I can't read. Those who seek him will praise the Lord. Let your heart live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. And all the families of the nations shall, shall worship before you. For the kingdom is the Lord's and he rules over the nations. All the prosperous of the earth shall eat and worship. All those who go down to the dust shall bow before him. For he cannot keep himself alive. Posterity shall serve him, it shall be recounted of the Lord to the next generation. They will come and declare his righteousness to a people who will be a born. They come and declare his righteousness to a people who will be born that he has done this. <laughs> Thank the Lord. Psalm 23 The Lord, the shepherd of his people, a psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they come for me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Thank you all for watching. You are blessed. Keep reading the book of Psalms. I pray you all have a wonderful day. I don't know what I did to deserve you to spend this time with me, but be safe. I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Arms, because I really gotta do these. This is sad. Probably gonna do arms and legs. I can't do it because
I gotta fast, I gotta pray because only he can get me what I am trying to get because God is so good and we, we serve a God that works miracles. I'm over talking for now. Okay, alright. See all this I think. Okay, bye.